today we are reading I Lost My Bear by Jules Pfeiffer. Hmm. I know it's somewhere. Hmm. Uh-oh. I can't find my bear. I asked my mother, did you see my bear? I can't help you now. Try to think like a detective and remember where you were playing with it last. I tried to think like a detective and remember where I was playing with it last. I think I was playing with it last under the bed, but I don't see it. Maybe I was playing with it last in the bookcase. Hmm. I don't see it. Was I playing with it last in the living room? It's not on the couch or behind the curtains. It's not under the chairs. I said to my father, I can't find my bear where I was playing with it last. Will, will you help me? And he said, you're always losing things. I want you to find it for yourself. And that will be a lesson to you to remember where you put things. So, I asked my sister, did you take my bear? Give it back. And on her door, she has signs that say, do not disturb, keep out. This means you. And my sister said, I have never, ever played with your silly bear. And I want you to stop playing with my nail polish. <sighs> no one will help me find my bear. So I cried. Nobody stopped me. So I stopped myself. But I know it's gone forever. My sister said, if you close your eyes and throw one of your other stuffed animals, sometimes it lands in the same place. Wow. But which stuffed animal? If I throw one of my favorites, what if I lose that one too? Hmm. So I better throw a stuffed animal that I don't care about. But if I pick one I don't care about, it will know. And it won't want to find my lost bear. Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ink a bink a bottle of ink. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. I choose you. Oh no, my bunny rabbit. My bunny rabbit is my second favorite stuffed animal after my bear. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, I can't do it. I go to my sister. This was your idea. Could I throw one of your stuffed animals? And she said, if you lose my Halloweeny, I'll never forget it. I have the best sister ever. I closed my eyes. Look here, look there, look in my granny's chair, look in, look out, look up the water spout, look high, look low, go, 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 until you find my bear. This means you! She flung a stuffed animal across the room. And it found my lost barrette. And then it found my lost kitten, but she wasn't really lost. She was just hiding. And then it found my lost magic markers. So I drew a picture of my lost bear. My one last extra special, I really mean it this time, throw. Ugh. It found my lost purse, and inside my purse was a bunch of other things I lost. So I played with them until bedtime when my mother said, it's time for bed. Did you find your lost bear? Oh my goodness, I forgot all about my bear. And I cried because I was ashamed that I forgot about my bear. I cried to my mother. I couldn't find her because you, you wouldn't help me, I told her. But then we saw him. <gasps> Bearsy, I said. <gasps> He was in bed with her. Aren't 
I the best detective. The end. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the story. Bye.